Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will he do the Fandango? Welcome back everybody! Today we are going to answer the question What if Scaramouche or Kabukimono was charged for his crimes? AKA the sequel for What if Tartaglia was charged for his crimes? If you haven't already, check it out! And again, these characters charged for their crimes type of video is obviously inspired by Moose Side. But anyway, you who's watching this right now, if you're new, Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell. And watch until the end to get a complete summary of the character development for this menace puppet of society. Who for some reason everybody sims on. What is wrong with you people? Now to begin, let's talk laws. So Teyvat has 7 different nations and each of them got their own laws. So, Kabukimono is a failure created by the Asian MILF, I mean mommy, I mean mommy, sorry, mother. The Asian mother, Raiden Shogun. Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukame Gosho, God of Thunder. Which means Scaramouche officially possesses the Inazuman citizenship. Which in our case, would be Japan. His first appearance, however, it's all the way in the Unreconciled Stars event. And most of the time, takes place in Mondstadt. In our case, probably Germany. For that reason, we are following German's law for his Mondstadt crimes. Do note that if I can't find a specific penalty for a crime in the country's law, I'll be giving the standard sentence for that crime. The first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike down Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. So right here we see that Mona has already sensed the true intention of Scaramouche before quickly teleporting both Fischl and the Traveler away. Later we see that his true intention is to kill the Traveler. This is a conspiracy to commit murder, which could lead up to life imprisonment according to Germany's law. But I'm gonna reduce it to like 5 years. Because if you think about it, how exactly do you plan to bring this into court? Sounds interesting. Mind if I join you? What ho? We meet again, Daygrim of Inazuma. <laughs> My Ratanmu and I were just... You gotta trust me, Your Honor. This man just walked up to us, but he's gonna kill us all. Anyway... Soldiers! Sir! Find them, and when you do... Another one? My lord! It's happening again. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming. But so be it. Move out. Change of plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to research the meteorites. My lord, leave them to us. We will make short work of them. Are you deaf or just stupid? When did I give you the right to issue your own orders? My, my apologies, my lord. Now move out and complete your objectives as assigned. So it's revealed that Scaramouche has some backup to initiate his plans. And I believe Scaramouche ordering his soldiers to find a traveler is some form of incitement, as shown from this one soldier who thinks he can get rid of the traveler. Although Scaramouche quickly cancels that, which should reduce the sentence. And the laws of Germany says that the penalty shouldn't exceed 5 years. This is both unsuccessful and cancelled. So let's just reduce that to like 1 year. Okay, surprisingly, as short as it is, this should be all the crimes Scaramouche commits in Mondstadt. And the total sentence is 6 years imprisonment. Now let's move on to the crime Scaramouche commits in his homeland, in Inazuma. Alright, we are now going to be covering the crime Scaramouche did in Inazuma. Which also means we're gonna be using the laws of Japan from now on. With that being said, let's begin. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless. 
Atlas before his mortality? He broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is arson. Cause even though Kunikazushi is supposed to live here, I don't think he has the full ownership of this house. The penalties for arson in Japan could be pretty severe, but there shouldn't be anyone in this house except for a dead kid by now. So I'll just reduce that by half. Fatus Dairokui, Zanhyo da. Aye te ureshi yo. Nadakai tabibito san. Konna ozei de boku ni nani ka yo ka na. なあ、そのことだったのか。一つ間違えていることがある。確かに僕はここにいるが、計画を執行するにあたり、ただその代理人をしているに過ぎない。死亡者はもちろん他にいる。ほら、都合でなんだろ。頑張って探してきなよ。Although Scaramouche claims to not be the mastermind behind the delusion manufacturing, he is still part of the operation since he said that he is following orders. So a delusion is basically like a vision, allowing the user to use elemental powers. But the difference is using a delusion can backfire and drain the user's life. The user will feel unstoppable and invincible at first, being able to do things that they cannot do normally, before it slowly backfires and kills the user. Just like drugs. There's no specific laws for delusion, so I'm gonna put that in the illegal drug manufacturing. And Japan takes that crime very seriously. And with Tepe's death, Skarmush will take the full penalty from this action. Plus the 10 million Japanese yen fine. Convert that to dollars, which is 65,490. Convert that to mora, and you'll get 17,158,380. 帝国軍にいる君の友達のように、どんなに努力しても無駄なのさ。水中の泡のように美しさを放った後は破滅が待っている。失えば失うほど手にしたいと思い、無能であればあるほど、それに抗う。こういう茶番は見ていて滑稽
right, we are now back in Sumeru. Which is the beginning of Scaramouche turning into the menace of society. As for the laws, uh... Let's just narrow it down to the whole Middle East. Especially on this area. Without further ado, let's begin. There is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era... is coming to an end. When do we start? You seem impatient. You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. The biological transformation is a lengthy process. As such, I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine, and he will be unable to move independently of it. So Dottori and Azar are planning to create a god to replace the lesser Lord Kusanali, with Scaramouche being the candidate of it, and he seems to be agreeing to this. This is a betrayal to the Archon of Sumeru and will be considered as high treason, which will realistically mean he's dead again. Okay, so he's stalking Nahida now. And the laws of Egypt says he's gonna be in prison for a year. And a fine of 5,000 Egyptian pounds or more not exceeding 10,000. But screw that because the person he's stalking is supposed to be the Archon of Sumeru. So we'll go with 10,000 Egyptian pounds, convert that to dollars and you'll get 203 dollars. Convert that to more and you'll get 53,186. So, you think this is over? <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Okay, now he's stalking the Traveler, which brings back the previous stalking penalty, but the fine will be reduced to 5,000. And converting that to Mora will be equivalent to 26,462 Mora. Asia. I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. Scaramouche connects with Hypasha's consciousness, which is kind of like an invasion of privacy, but it kind of feels like a mind manipulation. This is a little complicated, so I'll just give it like one year or something. Hey, what happened to you? He's hurt. I'm fine. Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. With that, all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. It's alright. So Scaramouche here commits two crimes at once. So Dea claims when they were fighting, there were a lot of Fatuis. And a good amount of the soldiers are torn to shreds by the lightning. Hence, they retreat. This would count as mass murder, and there's Tainari who's also being struck by the lightning. And there's a clear implication that Tainari is clearly wounded, which should mean assault occasioning bodily harm. Also, here's the evidence Skarmush did this. The Balladeer is not happy with the doctor's actions. He thinks the doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if the doctor was to show up again, would the Balladeer zap him with lightning? Skarmush will get another death sentence for his mass murder and uh, several years for zapping Tainari. Say like two years. With what happened to the Fatui soldiers, I'm sure he intends to kill.
I am now going to be using the laws of India, and it can be shown here that Scaramouche just assaulted the Traveler. And now, he's trying to kill the Traveler. The law says that attempted murder is punishable to 10 years imprisonment, but the Traveler as the victim is already injured, so Scaramouche is gonna get the life penalty instead. This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? It is revealed that Skarmush was trying to take Nahida's Gnosis by force, which should count as criminal force in attempting to commit theft. But in this case, grand larceny. This offense itself is punishable to 2 years, but this extends to 7 years if it's a robbery instead. Now a Gnosis is obviously worth more than every single treasure stolen from every robbery in Tevat combined all together. And take note that Skarmush is clearly trying to kill Nahida the Dendro Archon in the process. So that 7 years is just not gonna work. We'll give him another life sentence instead. That's mine! Don't even try! I'll never! I'll never go back! <sighs> Alright, let's wrap it up. He got his death sentence. So tell me, in this world, is it possible to change the past? Son of a bi- Set him free. A puppet? What's he doing here? You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is... my... This won't be the end! Look who's back. Hey, you there! We heard there's an inn near here. Gonna need you to show us the way. Huh? Mm -hmm. We won't ask twice! Too big strong for Tui. Asking me to be their chaperone. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> Think you're funny, do you? You'll regret that! <laughs> sure I will. Oh, would you look at that? Guess we finally found something we can charge him with. The first one was self-defense, but now Wanderer is clearly bullying them. If he wants to, Wanderer could have just knocked these two out. Exactly like Tartaglia does it, in fact. Now this is proper self-defense. 
What Wanderer did on the other hand though, not so much. The punishment for assault like this can be 3 months imprisonment or a fine of 500 rupees. In this case, we're gonna go with the rupees because the Fatui was the one starting the trouble. A thousand rupees is equivalent to 12 dollars, and 12 dollars is equal to 3144 mora. Okay, so uh, the total sentence for Scaramouche's crimes is a measly 3144 mora. Of course, not counting the four dead sentence, three life imprisonment, 21.5 years imprisonment, and 17.2 million more are fine. Well, case close. You made it till the end. Congratulations. But if you're interested to see the prequel of this video where we charge Tartaglia's crime instead, you can click right here. Oh, and here's me ranking Leo characters on their Honkai Star Rail paths. You got two good stuff to decide, better be quick to click it before the video ends. Have you made your decision yet? Come on, I'll see you guys in that video.